how deep in the Appalachian Wilds a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your levers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Bob, a DD podcast. <laughs> Previously on We were inside a, a thing and then it sucked on our tourists for a while and then we don't have a captain anymore and and now we're being boarded. So overall kinda of weird day. Welcome back, listeners, to the 18th episode of our fifth season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start off where we left off last time as a bunch of, well, they kind of look like Goros. Four arms, eight feet tall, heavily armored, uh, just, just marching heavily squad. into your ship. I could take him. Please don't. I think uh, I can. They do not appear to be stopping it when they walk towards you, so you can get out of the way or just going. I'll to move to the side. I'm going to square up. Bro, bro. I'm you engaging my up? old voice. Bro. Okay, roll strength. To square up. 11. Well, I mean, they're just walking right through them, so. They immediately just, like, they run you over and just walk over you and then part in the hallway and start going down each side. Checking, like, every room except for the ones you designated as birds. Those they scan to make sure that they are indeed birds. Are you disrespecting This one just has me, a pigeon in it. But it's about... I'm walking with one of the groups. 60 or 70 troops just mm. all going through your ship and they keep splitting up uh no group is less than four or five members uh they all have they look like assault rifles but you've never seen the technology before i want to steal that so bad yeah it the assault rifle shape anyways is similar to what you're used to but it has this like rotating barrel on the end of it that's constantly rotating in this faint green light that that's you can see in the tech. like unnecessarily rotating all the time yeah, all the time. For a beam? Maybe a beam. You don't know. Uh, Could be beans. Excuse me, uh, Mongaro, dude. Uh, no one's paying you any attention when I you're I need to sample to your rifle. No one. No one's paying you any attention. You should just grab it out of the Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, grab. <laughs> if there's one in the holster, you should grab that, too. Grab sure. with a 14. Okay. You I do grab the rifle. Um, I shoot it up into the air and see what it does. Okay. In the ship? Yeah. At one of the at one of the doors to someone's quarters. Probably probably Gary's, I don't know. Sure. You grab the gun. Mm -hmm. Uh it has a trigger, but when you hit it, it, it just is making like a noise. Can I borrow your finger? Uh what's your AC? Fourteen. Okay. Two of them shoot you with their guns. Hmm. And that's how Todd became a hood ornament. You take 29 <laughs> damage as this, like, green ball of just swirling energy shoots out and hits you, and it, like, forcibly pushes you into the wall each time. I'm also I recording wanna this. So sample sure. the energy with my mouth? Me. Sure, yeah, you can sample it. What is it? It's some sort of gamma burst of energy. Hmm. I upload that info into the main computer. We can make and hulks. I toss the rifle back <laughs> to the guy. Sure. You toss the rifle back to the guy who walks up. I mean, if and he looks uses like he's about the to rifle to hit you with it. I'm going to punch him. Nine damage. Todd's out. Okay. Uh, 18 persuasion. Oh, hey, we don't need to do any of this violence stuff. He just wanted to sample it. He, he's a sampler. He's a thirst for knowledge. He's no longer a threat. Well, yeah. Because he's unconscious. He wasn't yeah. much of a threat to begin he's with. Kind of, <laughs> he's kind of a sleepy time boy now. And and then sleepy they just, Todd. They sleepy just keep Todd. going on their business. So who, who's whoever. in charge? Yeah, who, who's, who's in charge? They who's your answer. supervisor? Don't answer any of your questions. Persuasion? Sure. One in the negative. <laughs> no, uh, no one pays attention to Todd, just lets him. 12. Uh, no, they still don't answer. Uh, 20 to mechanical engineering to stabilize Todd. Yeah, you do. God damn Come it. Come on, buddy. Very you easily. Look. It's weird how he tried to eat that gun, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how does this work? Yeah, no one else is allowed to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get you, Phil. <laughs> do you? I understood what you were talking about, unlike everybody else. Oh, I'm aware. I'm just not letting it happen. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is that uh, magic wand all over. It's a wand of wonder all over again. I'm just gonna lay on the ground and point it up at the sky until I die. Nobody else was here for I that, eat so my own okay. tongue. I bite I bite down on my tongue. You don't have a tongue. You don't have a tongue. I, I drown in my blood. <laughs> you didn't have blood. He, he did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so they just keep on going through your ship. What are you guys looking for? Maybe we could help. Still don't answer any Persuasion. Reason. Sure. Is this a scavenger hunt? I spit on the closest one I find. Okay. Yep. How do you spit? Um, you, well, you it's weird because like I have Oil? diarrhea and I have uh, <laughs> I it, I've had diarrhea before. So. Does a seventeen hit you? Oh, I'm sure it does. Dude, Todd's gonna jump in front of the that. Nazis. <laughs> Todd's I, jumping I, in front of that bullet. I I, <laughs> I rolled a critical one, so it's not a bullet. He just walks up and hits Plasma. you with the oh. rifle butt of his uh, rifle for eight damage. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've been taking damage for a while, haven't you? Yeah, yes, I have. Never held, healed. Uh, so yeah, so they j he drops, they immediately ignore him and just keep going about their day. Uh, 17 medical mechanical engineering to stabilize <laughs> you. <laughs> you rewind his tape. He's fine. Just lean so him up against the wall. Stick the pencil in him. Yeah. I say I have a one for health? One hit point, yeah. Got it. But you're still asleep. And I'm at one Powered also. Down. Cause I've yes. been to you were also at one. All right, you big Goro men. Think you're so tough with your pulse rifles. <laughs> I turn Can't them take off. the <laughs> robot Flip champion on one by one. One on one. Uh, I smack him. High or low, Joran? High. He does have an off switch because that species of robot was not made for sentience. Mm. It was just meant to be an explorer, so it can be turned on and off. You just stuck his brain in it. So if you do want to turn him off, there's a very clear on-off switch in the back. So, What do you think, Arky? Turn him off. All right. Arky <clears throat> Buncher. I mean, I get a reaction for sure. Sure, you can roll a deck save. I mean, it's like a grapple check, right? He's trying to grapple my switch. Well, you could just be like trying to turn around real fast. So, well, you don't even know you have an off switch because you. I mean, I'm not that kind of robot. Yeah. Well, I got a 19. Okay. What's your sleight of hand? That's more than my 18. Okay. So yeah. So you, no. you keep turning so he can't touch you in the back. Fine. I smack him in the head. <laughs> Down you go. With a yeah. With the butt of the ham. The hand. I'm out. I have. I have one hit point. You do one damage. So I'm done. Down. Okay. <laughs> non-lethal. He. Yep. <laughs> Specified non-lethal. No death subtle saves. damage. Ah. Who keeps S farting? subtle damage? God damn it, Phil. Put him in the brig. Lock him. Lock his hands down so he can't kill himself. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, they keep marching around your ship. I don't feel like things. myself. They I seem want to be to die. roughing up some of the crew. Uh, they're they're not gentle with anybody, but they hey. don't say anything. What are the races? What the crew? Yeah. I mean, the ones being roughed up. The navies? Are they human? Well, they're, they're not. not they're not crew. Non navies. Some of them are. They're becoming crew. Not navies. Some of them are Americans. Some of them are humans. What about Perkins? Uh, does Perkins get roughed up? Perkin. No, because he just like stays out of their way as much as a fat person can. So completely in their way. Yeah, they do go and investigate the but engine. But he apologizes for being so fat the entire time. They pull out tools. They start scanning a lot of your computers and systems and things like that, and then move on. What are you? What are you doing? They still are not responding. Todd just starts shouting. <laughs> you're still asleep. I do not consent to any searches. Oh, oh, you're right, I, I do asleep. not consent to any searches. <laughs> Todd's am I being too. detained? Bro, am I being detained? You're in the brig. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I still yell that. Turn off comms to the brig. <laughs> Turn off all comms. So Shut it down. They Shut keep, it all down. They march around your ship for quite a while before they come back to basically the exit. And they say, uh, How'd that go? Your ship is going to be detained. Uh, I thought we were already detained. No. This was just a search. This is extra super detainment? Yes. Are there snacks? Uh, yes. Wow, snacks. wasn't expecting that. Snacks every 12 hours. That's actually pretty great. I kind of, I'm kind of curious as to know what you guys eat. Is or, it or fish? Gals. What, what, you individuals? It is a protein goop, which will keep you alive. Uh, how's it taste? <laughs> salty. Terrible. Like salty chicken. Like caviar? So, uh... Do they know? How did he get out of the brig? <laughs> I don't know. I am going to turn comms on. Where did you come from? Keep sampling all the all the locking I'm a security mechanisms. officer. I have the code. <laughs> I just scan it. Yeah, no. Well, we're not smart enough to remember that. It does not taste like caviar. 
Alright. This ship is recognized from five years ago. Oh, yeah. On an altercation. Yeah, it was. God damn it. Hey, do you wanna- we can, like, tell you how this- this went down. Or do- do we have to talk to your superior? You'll tell us. Through interrogation. Well, I, I'll just tell you without interrogation. And then walk I mean, interrogation- yeah, we, torture doesn't work! Just keep walking. Wait, <laughs> I eat rocks. We- we killed the chi- we killed the person who piloted this ship. Did yeah, they just walk right we off just, the ship? We just found this man. It's not even ours. They don't even- they don't I don't you. think they care. Alright, guys, let's attention. get our stories straight before they interrogate us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tell them everything. Yeah, Ursula forced the us. The door closes <laughs> not long after that, and you hear the, the docking, like the undocking procedure. Mm-hmm. But then you you feel a a sudden jolt, and uh, you're, you're pretty sure tractor tractor beamed, yeah. Well, like John a John Dearness. Yeah. God damn it. Mm. Farm all. <laughs> Caborda. Caborda. Cabording you. <laughs> the caborting party. So, yeah, that's what you guys. All right, get everybody on this how ship. Long, how long until we uh, get get to where snack. we're going? Oh, yeah, snack time. Also, <laughs> so I mean, there's nobody still on your ship that's from that party, and Except nobody's responding to comms. But in your view screen, you can see a we'll call it a large class ship that's dragging your ship behind it. It's about ten times larger than your ship. Well, all right, everyone. <clears throat> it's on the paperwork. Let's sit back, relax, and, and watch uh, s- something on your view screen. Okay. Um, oh, you know, we should probably you make Todd not the captain anymore. I brought all my <laughs> <laughs> friends' DVDs. What, your OnlyFans? What? My OnlyFans DVDs? <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink some bath water and uh, watch some of my DVDs. Watch, watch some They're of Perkins' OnlyFans. <laughs> They're just me in my room. Hey. Hey. Welcome back, everybody, to my bath water bear claw mm. <laughs> extravaganza. I'm going to put this bag on my head. Have a sip and a shake. No one knows who I am now. And We're I'm going to need to speed up that, that orgy talk. My name's some Perkins, point. a.k.a. Sex Machine. No, boy, he's <laughs> false. The, sex uh, robot. The oh. sex engineer. Let's and I'm do here instructional to help you. videos. I'm here to help you perk up. I'm, I'm uh, here to <laughs> rev up your engine. <laughs> how, do we, how do we turn this off? I put you right into warp drive. Oh, no. <laughs> Perkins self-help series. <laughs> we can't right. turn this off, can we? <laughs> Wait, it, it alternates. He's sitting next to us. Yeah, saying, oh, it's, <laughs> it's every other chapter. Why won't he stop? <laughs> <laughs> There's no captain anymore. We, uh, haven't, we haven't had a monthly orgy yet, and I'm getting the itches. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I feel I, I have an addiction to talking dirty. That's we're you just filthy gonna, slut, you, that's, Joran. That's, I'm, I'm still your rub, superior I'm officer. Gonna, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sir. I can't help it. I'm just gonna tell me I'm a. He bad wants you boy. to break him. Don't break him. He wants you to break <laughs> him. I know. I know. He wants break to break me, break daddy. I'm gonna no, I'm twist your gonna, nipples right I'm off. I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, that feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was helium. It's super. Oh, I was gonna say <laughs> super valium. <laughs> hey, that feels pretty good. Shit. You can pass out if you inhale too much helium. Uh, I injected it into his bloodstream. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Watch his corpse float! Yay. <laughs> Yay! All right, Perkins, get off the bridge. Hold car. <laughs> All right. He's naked. All He's right. just wearing a t-shirt. We have That's to it. cast off these invaders <laughs> three sizes of our freedom, small. correct? It brothers? is. Brothers. Well, what? Are you starting a revolution? Yes. In, in, from the brig? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm on the bridge. We've got this. What? How did he get on the bridge? Oh, that's right. He security. still has all the codes. Yeah, he's we, the security officer. I don't even think we have security codes. Also, you're in charge, so you could just tell whoever's holding him in the brig to let him go. Probably. Yeah. yeah he did not do it. Change Maybe the chain. We of shouldn't. We should probably, probably planned it. <laughs> sure wheel. <laughs> Slow for a little bit longer. Uh, sure wheel wasn't the best choice, but you know. It's the, <laughs> it's what we have. Spacer's so choice. going into this uh, lockdown that we're Spacer's being uh, mag booted into, shut up. Um, huh? I say <laughs> we spin the chore wheel again so we can blame it all on whoever the captain is after the wheel spins. Yes. I mean, you're the captain. You're all the captain, aren't you? All in favor? No, no Todd's, the oh, right Todd's, cap- right, Todd's, Todd's the captain right now. Todd's Todd. Todd's gonna spin oh, the wheel of captain. It's Todd's day. <laughs> Toddy's day out mm-hmm. to pass to pass the uh, the buck on to somebody else. So we can blame it on them. To blame? Okay. Yeah. What'd you roll? What, I mean, what Wheel am I rolling? Of blame. I, I need you to roll me a... <laughs> Wheel of blame. Turn, turn, turn. The responsibly. Mm. Nope. Didn't think Good that try. through. Good try. Thank you. 
Let's go with um. Oh, he ended up with a party bird. <laughs> yeah, Squawky leaves. Let's go with, he, let's go with a D hundred. All right. Ninety six. God damn it! Roll D hundred again. There isn't a there isn't a really like a D sixty eight. So <laughs> seventy. Good enough. The blame is Arturus. I uh, put the captain pin on Arcturus. Hey, you're the captain. Tinkles, you are the captain now. It's been a solar day. On your your promotion. Stellar. Eris. No, no one gets these <laughs> star jokes. You're a stellar Eris, <laughs> Arcturus. Today we'll start the first week of star jokes. Tell As a star your joke captain, or die. <laughs> we'll be doing improv training. <laughs> Long form. Oh, no. Long form improv training. <laughs> Serious emotional clog dancing will begin next week then bagpipe lessons peruvian flute band advanced abacus advanced (laughs) drinking lessons to conclude today (laughs) is the day beginning of the day of silence no one speaks for the remainder of the day this day will last 836 hours (laughs) I just sent a text up. Thinking about another <laughs> mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> Two arc You added him. I was going to say, you added him. Oh, shit, I missed him. I had him. CC. CC. So are we uh, getting tractor beamed in yet? Or? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. You've, been, yeah you've been tractor beamed for probably for a good bit of a day now. Hey, uh, Mac. I said silence. Mac. I'm texting. <laughs> Mac. Question mark. You up? I texted Mac. Did you open it? He doesn't have a phone. <laughs> on the right. console. I mean, on the <laughs> console. He's using his computer console. Perception for blinking light. Hmm. What'd you get? Like a 20? <laughs> get above a 10? Nope. What'd you get? Crit fail? A five. Five? You don't You don't notice the holographic letters Mac. appearing Mac. on no. your... No, Mac. Just Mac send. Play, Mac, play send. With my dolls. Mac send. Mac send. Mac send. Mac send. He's playing Galaga. Mac send. Playing with my dolls, is that what he said? <laughs> you wish I said that. <laughs> Action figures. I rolled three. You still don't. You're enthralled in whatever I, love story. I throw a You've metal a triangle going Max between. You come dolls. into my room. There's just green army men everywhere. <laughs> I did not and, see you playing with your dolls again. And two Barbies. I I finally see it. Okay. What the fifty foot women? What? What? All the other ones are army men. The Barbies oh, are yeah, the 50 yeah. foot women. Giant. Okay. I Snoo got a show. Uh, so, yeah, mm-hmm. so you see a whole slew of missed messages from uh, Todd. I'm, just, I'm not going to read any of it. I'm just going to go to the last one. It just says Mac, question mark. <laughs> Hold on. Do they <laughs> the all just say Mac, question mark? Most of them say Somebody Mac, just say question Mac. mark. McClunky. Uh, hi. But it's spelled wrong. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> H-I-G-H Mac, you are the best pilot in the galaxy, right? Uh, yep So couldn't you do some sort of hard break turn And use the relative gravity of the tractor beam against itself To make an explosion to jettison us off? Out of here? <laughs> Through this tractor beam that's had us for over a day For sure Yeah, the, the, the uh, buildup of magnetic energy uh, is causing a polarity in our ship, and then you could uh, suddenly switch it, and something good happens. I would let you roll intelligence to to like try and reason that one out. I'm going to. I mean, you you are a or consult impossible Clippy. maneuver. Seventeen. His name is Clipsworth. Would would you think it's? Well, no. This is an intelligence sure. check. So you are. So you think that it might be possible to break the. Tractor beam and the magnet you would have would to warp, a- but detract. the moment you start to struggle against the tractor beam, they're going to notice. So you'd have to have something where you can activate warp instantaneously instead of it like charging up. We charge it first. The engines are offline. Well, flip the they're switch. They're not offline. Could I use? They're just not currently. I mean, right now they might be offline, but could could we somehow use internal battery? And charge those up to have enough power behind them, and then plug them into the the engines so that we can have an insta warp. If you, you don't know enough, but you might be able Perkins. to talk to Perkins. Perkins, you ready for some more dirty talk? Daddy? I don't know. Just come to my quarters. I'm real coming. Quick we'll... Todd's coming too. I'm on my way too. Look, Tom, guys. Got it. I hope the hallway. If has you just plug the ship, cleaning. plug the ship into my stomach, and I just chug vodka, it'll work out. 
Because uh, I'm an just infinite battery. Perkins. <laughs> so Perkins comes up. His shirt is missing. No, it's mesh. it's way too small it's and mesh. see-through at this point. It's, it's very mesh. wet. It's a mesh shirt. It's very sweaty, even though the, the ship is muslin. temperature controlled. Cool it, sweaty. Guzzoline? Muslin. Oh, okay. <laughs> muslin. It's a very, very small fishnet shirt. Sure. He's like, you uh, can't even see it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. What, what can I do for you? Is there a way that we could take... Or do to you? No. Shut up and listen. Mm, I like it when you talk dirty to me. Talk down to me, daddy. Call me a bitch. All right, Sergeant Bitch. Um, oh, yeah. Is there a way to now. take external batteries, charge them enough, then plug them into the engine core so that we can have an instant warp? I've been playing around with an idea, actually, for the last day while I've been jacking off in my quarters. Okay. Didn't need to know Perkins that. Perkins is just Dennis now. You guys There's know a that, chance. Right? I'm on the bridge. I don't know. Well, what's it's, future, no, it's future Dennis. Like, it's uh, Dennis yeah. in five years when he's gained 30 pounds. Yeah, uh, yeah it's certainly sound like not yeah, quarantine whoa. Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, we're not. Nope. Fucking Justin Bieber Dennis over here. <laughs> right. I'm going to make has bark long, bark luscious away. hair. No. Be Birkins. Birkins. <laughs> Birkins. Merkins. Durkins. Merkins Pubic and Jerkins. Uh, he's like, I've been playing around with those uh, new uh, proton torpedoes that we got. Okay. I think I can maybe cause an explosion in the chamber, which will just activate the warp engine, if it's a controlled explosion. Let's do it. It's possible. Or... I'll blow up the whole ship. It's a risk Todd's ba, willing ba, to take. Ba, ba. It's not really the right notes and I'm just making noise use there. That's my own noise. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Todd's last Perkins. That's, that's normally ba, 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 ba. good. You don't want that for bad. Ba, 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 ba. There you go. <laughs> All right, that's better. We're just down step <laughs> up. Yeah, down step up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can try it. You know what? Let me think real quick if, if anybody had... else wants to know this plan. No, I think we're good. Yeah. I think we should do this without <laughs> consulting okay. anyone. You want me to just give you the signal when I'm going to do it? And you can just hit the button? Um, you got to hit it within like a second. Yep. I think as we should do this. As soon as the disco it's gotta be like, wraps. Yep. Let's do this. Dun, dun, All right. Dun, 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 dun. You're my power bottom. It just starts dragging a proton torpedo down the hall. No. Um... I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you the go ahead when it's ready to go, baby cakes. Give it to me. Okay. So Perkins goes back down to engineering. Couple hours later, you get a message on your screen. The eagle right has when you are, baby cakes. What kind of roll do you want for me? Oh, let's go with impossible maneuver. <clears throat> Which is a dex, I believe. Sure. At advantage, we established. Yes, but I rolled two fifteens. Those are good. Good enough. So I got a 17. Oh, am I proficient? You d yes. What? 18. <laughs> I, what level are we? We haven't leveled up, so we're still... Two. <laughs> You're not two. We're plus one. Three. We're level plus three two right for now. proficiency sure? bonus. Okay. What level are we? <laughs> so plus three. I think you're no, three. Plus, it's pl or four. For proficiency oh, bonus? Oh, proficiency bonus? Not until level five two. does it turn to, to three. Plus two. Yeah. 18. Okay. So you... You feel the ship shake as you hit the button uh, to warp. Uh, and the ship, like, it's it's an experience you've never had before because normally there's like a build up to the warp, but this one just, <laughs> and you just take off through a tractor beam and normally your ship is keeping you like kind of in place and good to go. But this sort of way of warping, apparently the ship is not ready for it. It's rattling wildly, and you guys are actually sort of like anti-grav, like floating backwards in the bridge. Oh, I'm surprised that our physical forms are not like elongating. And, and it's 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 definitely weird, but I, I mean, you're floating away from your console, so I'm gonna make my way back <laughs> towards my console so I can take us out of war. Uh, you could try. Use the plants to get through. I, hold on. First off, I have a seatbelt. And my seatbelt was buckled. Oh, did it? Was it? Yep. You didn't say it was. Always. You didn't ask if it was. The seat <laughs> magnetizes I'm, his ass. I'm driving. <laughs> it's I'm not just, a high level. I'm just smushed into my wicker basket chair. Higher low. Low. You're floating. You forgot to buckle it this I'm one gonna time. I'm going to make my way towards. <laughs> You're floating. I didn't order this. What do you want? I thought we were doing silence, not emergency warps. Uh, let's go with... 
the athletics? athletics to swim 20 so you are you are barely moving because the force is pulling you back more than you are swimming but you are making just a little bit of progress how as you're close to my seat am I about 10 feet I want to take us out of warp so uh huh because you've been in warp for a little while now 22 so you, you keep getting a little bit closer a little bit closer you're about Five feet away. It's another twenty-two. You manage to grab onto the seat and pull yourself forward, and yeah, the warp button is flashing wildly as the ship is shaking. I and hit it. You're you're seeing like colors that you've never experienced I've before. Seen fucking space. And Odyssey. everything is just uh, weird. Two thousand one. Yep. I mean that is a space odyssey. Whatever. I hit it. And the the ship comes out of warp, but also. The lights go off, and you don't appear to be moving at all anymore. The engines seem like they're dead. And there are no stars in the sky. Let's pick a direction. How far out of the galaxy have we gone? <laughs> We're in Earth. Uh, hey, um... In Earth. We're Perkins, inside the Earth. What, uh, what's left of it? What was that? Some might call that an orgasm. <laughs> no, I don't want to know about your nether bits and oh, their their gestations. What just happened to the ship? Uh, well, I was uh, my I miscalculated a bit. We we didn't actually a bit. warp. Uh, we actually made a new speed up. Okay. We were actually going about a hundred times faster than anyone's ever gone before. We hit warp speed. <laughs> warp, yes. We went plaid. Gwarf speed. You start to hear uh, the songs of Gwar as you're going through warp speed. Oh, yes. we've made it to the negative universe. Mm -hmm. I uh, find that as a positive. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, so you don't see anything. It, you're in, like, empty Ever. blackness. Imprisoning us. I don't know where we are. Uh, hey, Captain, could you do a quick scan to see where in space we just went? That's Nowhere. Utils. All right. I think we're in between space. Well, that's complicated. <laughs> you actually would probably be closer to being right. You are like in between the folds of space time. Hey, Todd, do you want to go take a sample? <laughs> More than anything. Go for it, bud. To the airlock, I guess. I'm sure. going to join you to the airlock. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going outside, though. <laughs> okay. I just want to watch you do it. Okay. Yeah, Todd's going to get like a little tube and tie it around his waist, go to the airlock, okay. um, get a straw so we can sample whatever's out sure. there. Sure. Todd's getting his tube tied. So you go out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You start to... Now, how are you... Are you just like floating out and then like attaching yourself With to eyes the wall? Wide how, open. Are you, how are you doing this? <laughs> just floating out in space to collect a sample on the end of a, yep. on a tube. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you tethered? Roll you would me, be tethered. Yeah, I tether you. tethered. Yeah, roll me a... Uh, Oh, let's go con. Con save. 16. You maintain functionality as uh, all of your systems seem to be on the fritz. You also feel a immense, immense amount of pressure as you're out there. Like, your suit looks like it's crushing don't in on yourself. I don't have a suit. Don't fuck it up. Oh, okay. You are just crushing, like... Uh, the game. Yeah, <laughs> crushing beers outside. Yeah, your your robot body, the quote unquote big strong muscular body that you're in, is just it's winning so much. <laughs> yeah, it's being crunched. I'm tired of it. Okay, it. you're being, tired of winning. It's being crunched real hard, and mm -hmm. all your systems are just going nuts hey, right now. Todd, mm -hmm. you look like you're dying. But you're conscious. I look like I need some vodka. Oh, huh? let him said, float. Um, you look like you're dying. Uh, Todd, Todd chucks some vodka to try to heal In himself. Space? Jorn, <laughs> the moment he leaves, you notice him just immediately start to, like, compact. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Hey, Todd. Uh, I kind of... <laughs> uh, let, let me just... <laughs> yeah, I crit 20 right now for my intelligence check. It's You're going to have maybe insert number of rounds here before you are dead. That's okay. My incredible strength will allow me to pull myself back in against the gravity. Yeah, sh sh hope you like sampling death. But you can collect a sample while you're out there. Where's this gravity? Oh, I'm, that's from? why I brought the straw. Everywhere. I do. Okay. <laughs> We're in the under space where the gravity's more Tr quadrupled. Um, <laughs> I, I roll a natural 20 to find out what it is. Anti-universe. 
You said a natural 20? Ah, yes. It appears as though you are in pure dark matter. Oh, warp that, uh, Clancy. Which almost feels like it's moving around you. So it's almost like you are in uh, in some sort of sentient ocean that's crushing you. Hello? It wiggles inside you? Wiggle it (laughs) if you can hear me. Uh, You feel your insides move around a bit. That's just them crushing into you. Uh, I need you Mm -hmm. to take three damage. I'm out. He's out. (laughs) I was at one. Okay. Uh, You would have healed up to full by now. Everybody would be at full by now, the amount of time that you were waiting in the uh, tractor beam. How much did I take, you said? Three. Okay. That tickles. As you start to crunch. And Joran, you notice him start to crunch. And, like, the goo is, like, like he's in it, but you it, look like it almost a, like he, You look like an empty beer can at a frat party, man. You're crinkling up bad. It's like you shoot a, a little army figurine into a thing of jello. Like, it's empty oh, behind uh, him, but he's going through it. So, yeah. Darkness. Imprisoning you. And, yeah, like, any light that you have all coming of out goo. of your totally not lights that you have all around your head, they don't go anywhere. They immediately, the light just gets absorbed. Can you help me, Darkness? You take another seven damage as you crunch more. Uh, All right, buddy, I'm going to start pulling you in. Reel him in. I begin reeling. And as you begin to reel him back in, we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. This is Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botched podcast. If you head on over to our Patreon, you can find that we still have all of our levels from $1 all the way up to $50, and they're all still open, so have at it, Hoss. Uh, I'm not going to waste all your time by sitting here and explaining what each level is. Uh, assuming at least some of you can read anyways. Uh, I don't have high hopes for our listeners, but I still love all of you. Also, if you'd prefer to watch the video versions of our episodes, you can catch the VODs over on twitch.tv slash botched podcast, as well as our YouTube channel at botched podcast. If you want to watch our episodes live when they're being made, twitch.tv slash botched podcast, Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks to everybody who came out for the digital version of Dragon Con. It was a lot of fun. You can still catch our show. That VOD is over at twitch.tv slash DC Digital Media. And you can see me eat my own skin. Yeah, I'll leave you with that. Back to the show. (gasps) And we're back. All right, so yeah, you're reeling him in as he's being crushed slowly by the darkness. It's sin. I believe anything called love. Uh, Don't listen to the rhythm in your heart. That's the darkness crushing your insides. Before he can get you back into the ship, you take 19 more damage, and then you're pulled back in the ship and the doors close immediately. I feel like I was reaching it, the darkness. But, uh, yeah, the darkness of the beyond, buddy. All of the rest of you... Even you, Joran. If you've ever seen one of those old uh, submarine movies where you can hear like the metal sort of like, because it's, it's way too light. low and it's uh, starting to be crushed by the pressure, mm-hmm. uh, that kind of feels like what's going on right now. So it feels like your whole bags. ship is being crushed a bit. Well, if Perkins can get us out of here, he won't be executed. He'll only be court-martialed. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll try. You know where I get the tractor beam working. was better than this. Yeah. Well, you told me to get the dark the, matter to the captain, snacks. The captain didn't tell you to do anything, you Perkins. Told me, you me to All right, I'm on it. Couldn't we <laughs> fire our tractor beam in like a uh, rotating 360 degree signal to try to make a little <laughs> path in the jello? You can try. What? Like instead of using it as a pole beam, it's a push, a push? beam. Exactly. You could certainly and maybe try we'll that. find the egg within the center of this negative space. Todd is captain. Are you still operating tactical? I'm not captain. Arturus that's is not captain. captain. Oh, Arturus Todd's is captain just now. Oh, that's security right. Security officer. Todd, uh, are you going to go back to your station and operate the tractor beam? Or would that be somebody Duh. else's duty? I mean, uh, why not? it's too slow for me to walk there because I'm crushed. Sure. So I, I calm it over to whoever is there. Okay. Well, I get a like a pony keg and... A pony keg? Fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Just Little wheel guy. him up. Oh, him. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wheels you over to the station. Todd the Broken Robot. Roll me an attack roll for the ship. Uh, I got a 17. Okay. Yeah, it's pushing out. The problem is the engines aren't on. 
so you can't like spin around while you do that. So it is pushing the goo out in front of you. And you can see it in the viewfinder. It's like constantly trying to come in, but it's like being pushed back. Perkins, I need you to turn the engines on. I'm going as fast as I can. God damn it. I'm I'll give you done. six jelly donuts if you do it. Now I'm distracted by jelly donuts and need to masturbate again. We warped into the tar pits. Yep. The Space tar. After about 30 seconds and the ship's starting to some more, all the lights come back on and you hear the hum of the engines. So now you can do your plan that you were trying to do in terms of spinning and uh, repulsor beam. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can find something cool in here. Roll me a pilot. Maybe this is where Kevin went. Kevin? This is where Ursula lives. Now. 21. <laughs> yeah, goo, you the do. The universe. <laughs> you manage to start spinning the ship around. The repulsor beam is taking a fair amount of energy, more so than the normal tractor beam is for some reason. And Perkins messages Mac. He's like, all right, I think I might be ready to try this again. What direction would you like me to point in? Why don't you ask the captain? Hey, captain. Back. You mean the exact opposite way we came? Yep. Well, what if we just end up right back at that ship that had us Better than where we're at. Okay. I put my seatbelt on. <laughs> a strap on. Uh, I changed my chair into one of those, like, hangy down roller coaster things. Okay. Those seats. <laughs> and, and, I, and I strap in. All right, roll me a crazy piloting check. Or uh, a possible maneuver. Todd's just strapped to the dolly, so. <laughs> yeah. I put the parking brake on. 16. 16. So you see the light come on, you hit the button, and the ship takes off again into hyperdrive instantly. And again, the ship is shaking wildly. I think, I'm guessing you all strapped yourselves in this time, or are you all floating back out oh, of your chair? Oh, we're strapped, again? all right. Okay. Uh, yeah, and the, the ship is, how long would you like to sit in warp before you pop out of it? It's the last light. time you were in warp, it was for about a minute. A minute and five seconds minute and five seconds that way we go further no we're going yeah. into the future stop it <clears throat> no we're going back in time to slightly before we got into the tractor beam <laughs> oh look there we are getting into the tractor beam we just go forward so far we All right. repeat everything so minute and a half and then you hit the button to pop out of warp yeah uh, you do again the lights on the ship go out engines are dead and you see, you see stars, so it seems like when you're back in the known universe. Go out on our shippy. But all your systems are down. Uh, 20, where are we? Uh, you can pull up your little handheld device to try and... Boop, try 20 and is what are. I got. Yeah. Uh, you are not too far away from the planet Satoon, which is where the Magmadons are. So you're, uh -huh. you actually didn't go back the way you came, you went... Basically, to the east side of the universe. No. East side. East side. So, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, you didn't end up going back the way you came. But you were out in the middle of, not even the middle, you're almost far right. Uh, middle if, of you had, if you had waited too much longer, you probably would have went into a different <laughs> pocket dimension that might have been better or worse. Or it's flat galaxy theory. <laughs> 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 the edges is all just squishy black it's all yellow. Squishy. So, yeah. So, now you're just floating. Are there any ships around here? You don't see any in the viewfinder, but again, the ship instruments are all down at the moment. Let's get power back up. Reboot. Okay. Perkins is back to... He's like, I, I'm working on it, guys. Don't mind me. We're, we are all <laughs> always mindful. Oh, come on. You're very mindful. I uh, go paddle him. Chakras. <laughs> Chakras or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Chakras and all... Ch Chakras. <laughs> Chakras. <laughs> It's not... It's Chakra! Not. <laughs> this time it takes Perkins two hours, and the power finally comes back on. Can we go back to the planet with the satellites and turn Perkins into a cyborg? They yes. Were, they weren't cyborgs on that planet. They weren't cyborgs. They were They were just kind of like... I'm not talking to Perkins. Like no, we're not talking to you, Perkins. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Line. Yeah. Oh, my bad, when Todd tried to upgrade Jorin. That's what... Yeah. That's what he's referencing. Oh, yeah, on the satellite itself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could try. I mean, you could go back if you want. Get rid of his brain. I don't think they're going to like us very much. You no. nope. aren't that far from that planet. Nope. Let's not nope. go there. Nope. I mean... Well, do we want to see what this planet is about? Yeah. Yep. 
We're here. Let's do a scan. We have not been making friends. Uh, yeah, you could. Pr uh, Perkins is like, I don't recommend using warp drive anytime soon. By the way, there's nothing here. There's not uh, even a planet. Okay. Uh, we'll turn the ship. Can you turn the ship around, please, Mac? The magma done, bro. Where would you like to go? <clears throat> I do with a twenty-three. Yeah. Now we can look at the planet. Okay. Yeah. According to your uh, scans. That's where the planet is. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah. a planet very close by. There's also a black hole that's not Whoa. super far away, but it's... Hey, that's where we were. It's, but, uh, yeah, it's not too far from... Well, no, you were in a wormhole. Okay. Black hole, wormhole, same thing. Mm, it's a lot, oh, everything's holes, baby. A lot of holes. This universe is just very full of holes. Porous. Swiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so those Hollow are the- Hollow the, galaxy theory. The two closest things Giant to Giant space Godzilla's <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> so yeah, so you just go into the magma planet? Well, I mean- Sure. Uh, is, I mean, it's all we a got. civilization there? They're intelligent life? Space-faring civilization? Can we hail them? So if you start to- If you go over to that planet and you start to scan, it does appear as though there are- Intelligent life forms on this planet. You don't see any spaceships outside, though. We should call them. Colonize them. You up? Hey, hey, bro. You, you up? You proto space Sup? travel civilization that probably shouldn't have advanced technology. Well, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna uplift the fuck out of all these primitives, baby. We're making everyone better. Get on our ship. Conquer the universe with us. Yeah. Todd, do you want to die? <laughs> More than anything, I do not feel like myself and have not in a long time. Do you want to just end it, it for you, bud? Should live if I can't live stream to my friends, what is the point of my existence? I mean, you bring me joy, but, you know, that that's just But selfish. I have to live with my own joy, you which I do not have. Uh, you're right. I think you should live stream as murder, though. <laughs> is, is, is it murder? Assisted nope. suicide. <laughs> Live stream is assisted suicide. Assistant suicide. Assistant. I've lost what made me me. So yeah, so the planet Your is body? just I cannot a... drink. I cannot punch. What else is there? You Sampling. Could, you could punch, just not I can't be popular. Mm, probably not. Nerd. With nerds you could be super popular. What is the point? Geologists. Accountants. Accountants. Probably people who collect bugs. Like Actuaries. Real cool dude. TikTok thoughts. Pharaoh equinologist. Uh, do you want me to just put you into the ship? You want to be integrated? I want my death to be meaningful. <laughs> uh, uh, you're asking a lot. Uh, you're asking a lot. The planet, by the way, is a swirling ball of magma that is const It's like a constantly going off volcano everywhere. It's just. Well, let's make sure we've got the high ground. It's very, very hostile, <laughs> and you don't know the if your EVA. But yeah, the planet itself is very hostile in terms of like the atmosphere. It's very hot. You're not 100% sure that your EVA suits could hold up to that amount of heat. I guess we'll leave. Uh, maybe Arturus. <laughs> That's uh, about it. Arturus, so, you want to go yeah. down there and meet some Arcturus people? Arturus away mission. No. I'll, I'll <clears throat> you can take Todd. I'll seed it. What? Just drop some crystals down there and so grow some, some children in a few decades. Sure. You could do that. Where's Where's the next closest... Intelligent civilization that's capable of space flight that could fix our ship. <laughs> and isn't covered in magma. The next closest planet that is said to have intelligent life is called uh, Cult Fjall. It has a race called the McFallen. Yeah, let's go that's, there. That's let's not go good. there. Uh, uh, can we tow some <laughs> asteroids with us? And just, well, whoops, we dropped that. The problem oh, is the planet. that you can't warp, so it'll be at impulse speed. That's so fine. it would be a while. That's we'll okay. do a training montage for all our not in a V. Uh, new new crew members. Get that new planet up there on the screen. Oh, by now they're already, like, well-versed on what to do. Excellent. It's been four days. Yeah, they're fine. They're they're very quick learners. I told you. Okay, so yeah, so you guys are flying through space. Is there anything you want to do on the way aside from train the Notton V? Get to the planet. Okay. Save the planet, save the girl. Sure. Uh, Arturus, you notice another one of those flashy lights. I ignore it. Yeah, fuck that. Okay. Nope, not doing Last that time again. Last it ate us. Never okay. again. Do you guys want to be pirates? <laughs> uh, Yar? That could be fun. <laughs> All of a sudden, you feel as though your ship shakes. Like a Shake Shack? Like a Shake Shack. Oh, 
What was that? We got the ship shake. Our ship's got the DTs. It's sober. <laughs> what, Jordan, you notice there's a blinky light over at our tourist station, so. It's a proximity alert. Yeah. <laughs> you just ran into something. I switch my feet over to his and I click it. Uh, you see swarms of um, Freeb around the ship. Hey, can we warp yet? Nope. Todd can shoot. Hey, Todd, use the repulsor beam and let's just, let's leave. <laughs> Just no, keep away from me. me. Uh, Todd shoots at the cloud of Freeb. Okay. With yeah. a 25. Are they susceptible to <laughs> heat? Yes. Okay. I mean, they're robots, so yeah. I would say they're susceptible to heat. Dep- I mean, it depends on the level of heat, but. Todd puts the- on some spandex. Would, and would you roll for on damage? The hull. Vent all the heat from the ship Bloody. into the hull. Mm-hmm. Um, 18. Cook anything that touches 18 the damage. ship. Okay. For repulsing them? Oh, are you shooting them with lasers? Yeah, I sure. think that's what he said, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Torpedo the ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a move and a defensive action. Let's let's move. I move. Okay. Make it super move. You just keep moving. <clears throat> all right. Triple move. And then you're doing for defense? They're not surrounding us, right? Yeah. Like yeah. all around the back, not the front. But they're all around the, the sides and the back. Going to put a little extra gust into this. Yeah, that's our defensive action. Hit gust. the NOS. <laughs> I cast Burn Gust. Him. Are they going to get burned by the engines? Uh, if you try and do that maneuver. NOS. Some of them might. Critical 20. Uh, oh. Roll a d20. Adding anything? Nope. 11. You deal 11 damage to some free. So you melt some in your rear view camera. Okay. Todd can't help but notice and we haven't upgraded away. our ship at all. No, you haven't really stopped anywhere. Well, you have stopped, I guess. You did get an upgrade at uh, the one place. The Pandemos. Yeah. But uh, no Launch. place else you've really stopped. Launch a torpedo. You could. Well, it's not your turn because um, you already did all three of your actions. Uh, it's their turn. They're going to move back up and attack again. <laughs> uh, your rear shields are gone now, and your side shields are both at half. That sucks. Your hull is still intact. Keep firing. For now. Every. Everybody get mag boots and shoot lasers at them. <laughs> Everybody get out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's your turn again. Todd issues that order. Everybody go outside and start shooting. He's not my yeah. captain. You're not the captain. True, Everybody not. open the windows and shoot. I'm I the attack officer. <laughs> There's no windows to open. Everybody I, get outside and shoot. God damn but you it. Can go outside and shoot if you want. I do. You go outside. I start shooting. Okay. Who's going to drive the ship, you asshole? I get into his seat. Autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> Autopilot. Just go straight. All right. Dr. Pyre coming in hot, trying to pilot. No. I have no idea how to do this. A, I'm going back to my it's seat. It's Otto. My friend oh, His Otto. name is Otto. Yeah. He's a pilot. It's an inflatable pilot. Nope. That's from airplane. I know. Todd shoots for 17 damage. Uh, yeah. In a I wide beam 22. spread. <laughs> So yeah, you fire into the cloud of Freeb. Each of the clouds are much smaller, so it seems like you're doing a fair bit of damage. It's because Todd's on the gun, yeah. baby. What uh, what's your what's your other two? Twenty two to hit. So you're going outside. Uh, yeah. I okay. So you're going outside. All right. Yeah. Twenty two is going to hit. Which should I? D four. D four. Good. Really knocking them Freebs loose. Six. Six out of four. I mean, he gets a bonus. You're not, a bonus. You're not adding anything to it. It's just four. Uh, From the sides. Hmm. If it matters, I was shooting at the side. What about the other 55 members of the crew? They're going out, too. Yes. Uh, We'll call this your defensive action. And move, I guess, to put it outside? We're all outside. So, yeah, so you have 50 people outside, all firing small arms fire. Wow, they suck. (laughs) (laughs) That would be the best. A couple. So some some do hit. Does they fire off and they deal six? Does Perkins hit? Perkins does not leave the ship. How do they do six with a D4? Two. Two D4s. You can have six with two D4s. Of 50. Yeah, a lot of them missed. I feel like you didn't roll 50 D20s. I did not roll 50 D20s. We're going to be here a long time. All right. I rolled them in chunks. Uh, so then I guess it'll be the free. Are you? Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Say so you rolled twenty-five d20s. If only two hit, two groups hit. So two. So I rolled ten d4s d20s. for individuals. So groups of tens would be yeah, times ten. They're obviously 10. not as good as you. Uh, okay. <laughs> they're uh, quick learners, but <laughs> only, they're not that. 
<laughs> Only one hits of the freak. No, they learned Don't math. Use math to try to <laughs> establish the rules. History. Hey, he picks up a gun and is like, but I know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> Not <laughs> how to shoot this thing. The left side shield is gone, and four of your crew members have been completely eviscerated by Freeb. Good. Right, we don't need shields. We got meat shields. <laughs> as long as going, we got people we out there to absorb. Shields. We're going to cover our ship in people. All right, Todd's shooting again. Okay. I mean, 18's good. Well, now the problem is since you're not moving away. We are, because the autopilot's taking us farther away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you used your move action to send everybody outside to shoot. I thought you said that was That was defense. our defensive action. The defensive so then, action was to shoot. The movement action was for everybody to move outside. The ship can't move. The, the ship people can't are move. The people are moving. I mean, it's, we have autopilot. That's a lot of actions. I mean, you There's a lot of people. The, 50 the people. attack, okay, move, okay. And, and defensive okay. was just for the ship, not okay. for the people in the ship. Okay. Fire away. Six nine. Damn that. Twelve fine. plus four. Sixteen. <laughs> to hit or damage? Damage. I had a seventeen to hit. Okay. All right. So you're taking out more and more chunks of these fucking guys. Yeah. Because I'm motherfucking T-O-double-D. So you want me to mercy kill you after this? <laughs> well, I'm going to get down the hole now. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, that's everyone's, fine. everyone's going okay. outside. I'll just, I'll just run all the, yeah. these stations from my station. Yeah, like, I'll tabbing the guns, between bro. things. It's fine. Oh, no, I'm in here helping. Yeah, we're like split-screening multiple WoW accounts so that we can raid with just two people. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweet. I'm healing, I promise. So one of the Murricans got a little too excited and... Ended up shooting something on the ship, taking out, because he botched, seven other crew members. <laughs> seven crew died because of one stupid That murder. means nothing to Todd. The death of one man is a tragedy. But Not seven? that man. <laughs> the death of seven is a statistic. Yeah, that's fair. He was a lone wolf. Three, yeah. four, five. Ooh, you got two, Take that sheeple. two crits in there. He was taken in with no hostility and fed cheeseburgers on his way to the station. Good. <laughs> Fifteen damage from the crew. The free birth thinning out quite a bit. Critical 20. Okay, you can roll 2d4s. Do you think if I turned the two. ship off and turned it back on, we could warp? No, we didn't try restarting it. Yeah, hard boot. Seven. Maybe we need to update it. So you <laughs> sit here for half an hour with a ship update. <laughs> <laughs> you fire off into the last remaining bit of Freeb and manage to kill the last of them. As your ship Meanwhile, Todd's to shooting out the airlock with a knife in his mouth <laughs> trying to get at them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, come on in. All right, and then we just... Turn the ship really quick. And knock everybody off. <laughs> Whee! I'll Turn float forever. Ship. I'm a robot. Well, they they yeah. all had mag boots on, is what we established. No, they were MAGA boots. Ugh. Yes. Yeah, they did <laughs> Shake them off. Boots. Shake them off. <laughs> Self destruct everybody, sequence. Begin everybody now. get in. It's time to, I don't know, do something. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back in. Uh, you are down to. 52 crew members total. Time to oh, darn. silently float through the void until we get to our destination. <laughs> and we're going to have a moment of silence for... Um, going to repair that ship. Yeah, next couple days. <laughs> All right. Uh, make, make sure you mourn real good. The next 72 hours are for meditation and reflection. Fair. Mirrors will ten, be handed out. 10 hours for every crew member that died. I don't like mirrors. <laughs> You have to reflect on I that. I don't trust them. <laughs> you can have a one way. Is it because you can't see yourself in a mirror? I don't trust them. It's a vampire. It's where the <laughs> goblins live. What? Goblins. The, the mirror what? goblins. They God. live in the, in the mirrors. Are you okay? I'm fine. Did you get space madness? Yes. <laughs> space. Hey, we're gonna space. Let, let me space just can I just check bro. out what what your babies are doing to your <laughs> your internal <laughs> make. Oh God, <laughs> you've got an alien mouth, but He's it's just also got a all tulip. Wriggly, like, but they're flowers, so he looks very pretty. He looks like a fucking Pikmin by now. Yeah, <laughs> he does <laughs> look a lot like a flower on top of his head. He does look a lot like a Pikmin. It's my antenna. <laughs> no. He does Call that an like antenna. A <laughs> <laughs> it's a joystick. Hey, it's a planet. It is a planet. Yes, it is. Is that where we sent Ursula? No. Not even close. <laughs> you guys are nowhere near where you sent Ursula. So, yeah. So, after a few days of travel, so any of you that might be not full health are now full health again. We repair uh, the ship. Your ship arrives not too far outside of a, looks like a mountainous forest planet. 
Have we fixed the warp drive by now? Um. Has Perkins done his job? What rank was Perkins? Uh, lieutenant. Yeah, I think he was lieutenant. All right, he's less than that. Three, now. three, the four warp ranks below that. Engine now. is repaired. He's an NCO. What? I, I saved us. Twice. Cadet Perkins. What cadet? Yeah. Fine. See if anybody else can do this as well as I do. Well, I do still, it. You still have to do your job. No, we we tra- <laughs> the navies, uh, the non vs. Un- I request a transfer. To yeah, what? Not these, to, 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 to cafeteria. Wait, that doesn't exist. It's it now. Yeah, 3D create print it. food yeah. to the sexnasium. Oh, that's Just definitely it, not a thing. That's an airlock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All orgies will be in the main airlock. <laughs> Give him a chef's hat and stand him <laughs> near the, uh, and, in the car. And the the yeah. <laughs> in a Zentai. <laughs> yeah. Your only breathing kid is a ball gag. Uh, you do see a few... Small ships start to appear from the surface of the planet that that are moving towards you. They are, mm, I would say, Missiles? cylindrical in shape, but the front Missiles. end seems more bulbous than the back Missiles. end. Missiles, high fire. It almost seems like uh, we, we get out a little bit. All right, I mean, shoot first. So what's what's the word on the warp drive? That they're back online. Okay, we can fuck off. We don't need to be here. <laughs> I mean, we can at least see what these no, guys are we'll all scan. about. I, and then I just, missed. And then I rolled leave. a seven. All right. Scan it first? Scan it. a boring it. shot. We'll oh, you just fired at them? He thought With it was a, a missile. Okay. So, yeah, you, you fire off a couple shots, and you can see, like, a shield goes around each of the ships. They're warning shots. And they Those stop. Those are warning shots. Open a hail. And they're scanned with a 17. Uh, yes, they appear. Now, these ships are not as va- as advanced as yours. They seem very simplistic. Oh. Uh, you, if you had to guess, you would say that compared to your technology, they're about 100 years in the past. I send them our ship schematics. I am your god now. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, my goal is now to uplift all species to at least our level of technology and to really fuck up space politics. I you mean, s- that's, yeah, you send that's them pretty much like what the Coalition of Planets was doing. Hey, guys. How's it going? Equations. Get all the plants together and share tech. Well, I'm a human. Do you want to know how to kill people good? The screen comes on, and they're these very elong. They're they're kind of elongated, and they're they're very furry, especially around the face, and like big bulgy eyes. And they're like, "Hey, hi. What are you? Uh, I'm human. Awesome. Wait, did you come from Earth?" Uh, not a rid- well, I mean, my fam- my heritage yep, is Earth. Yep, he sure did. I-, I wasn't born there, though. So you guys didn't come from Earth? You sound like you just came from Earth, though. Well, yeah, Earth we did. Is Earth- you know Earth's, like, kind of gone, right? What? Yeah. When? Uh, here, I'll just send you the YouTube. Okay. Do you guys have that? <laughs> no? Space they, they only have 3G out here. They haven't we only have the audio. Yet. Oh. Audio only. Well, that's weird. Listen to Earth blow up. Here, <laughs> listen listen to this clip. They only developed audio technology because their entire species is blind. It sends the start in with it. No. Not blind. Just covered in fur, really big. But we love. You you just, you love. We love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love too, yeah, bud. Yeah, we love. Uh, I don't do that anymore. You love space? These bug I mean, bears? You yeah. love Ship? I, I mean, I, all, I, I love my ship, yeah. We you designed love, it off of Earth technology. You love Star? Oh. Yeah, you guys are a little behind. Can you open the attachment I sent you? Do you, do you have a z- they, an unzipping? They, oh, yeah. No, oh, wow. That, that looks like... Well, well, I mean, but we like the aesthetic of our ship. I don't care how it looks. I want you to have bigger weapons. Oh. Why? Because... Why Earth not, really? This is a scary place. Yes. Uh, I mean, I guess. I mean, y- you did shoot at us. And it's a hell of a lot scarier than that. Oh, all right. Yeah, we, we just killed Free and almost got eaten by Void Jello. But our Lord and Master teaches, you know, to help people. Yeah, uh, we, f- we found out that if you help people, they just fuck you over. Yeah, what? you should probably learn the no gods or masters thing pretty quick. Eat mm-hmm. the rich, destroy the powerful. God doesn't uh, exist. No, he exists. Yes, Everybody's going to die. He came to our planet. He talks to us on a weekly basis. It doesn't sound real. Who? Hit the warp. Let's leave. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Send me These to him. I want to talk to God. Well, no, 
Todd wants to talk to God. Uh, I mean, Where is he? Where's your God? Oh, Where on, is your God now? I mean, it's on the tip of the planet. I'm sorry, it's, did you say the tip of the planet? It's like right on the top. The I'm sorry, the tip. The pole. Uh, Todd, you're, if you're you want to go, we'll send you, man, but we, we're going to go. <laughs> Learn all you can. Todd wants to talk to God. All right. <laughs> Do you want us to fire you out like a torpedo? I mean, you can beam over to our ship. We'll take him to God. Todd, yep. you want to go? Todd. Todd's talking all to right. God. We'll be Todd. God, brother. Be God. Todd, Todd can't find joy from alcohol anymore, okay. so he needs to. <laughs> it's the first religion. step. He's found religion. <laughs> sure. Here we go. So, Todd, you go down to the surface of the planet with them? Yes. Okay. And they, they land their ships at the base of a mountain. And they're like, all right, you got to make the journey to the top, brother. It's very, very cold, by the way. I, I felt like I was strong once, but I'm not sure I can anymore. Hey, you can't have no in your heart, brother. We're right here for you. I, do you want me to strength or dex? Or uh, what? con. We warp. Uh, okay, 20. warp away. It's his time to shine. Uh, you're fine. So you you managed to Todd's going to the mountain. Todd's Batman begins storyline. <laughs> Make your way to the top Do of the mountain. Do you want this blue flower? <laughs> and uh, roll a eh, perception check for me, Pat Todd. Uh, Nineteen. When you get to the top of the tower, it looks like there is a frozen metal object lodged into the side of the mountain that looks an awful lot like an Earth satellite. I sample it. Okay. And it opens right up. I uh, interface with sure. it. Sure. As my friend Mac would, if he were here, but apparently yeah, I've been abandoned interface with it. by all my friends, yeah. <laughs> and I don't feel like myself anymore. Sure, interface, yeah. Roll uh twelve. Twelve? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, you get like a little bit of crackly static in your head as you you hear the uplifting messages of this rock god of podcasting, Charles McFall, as he's talking about EMS and other things of that nature. He talks to two other jackasses. You know, that's pretty much all you're getting. Now, you understand, because you came from Earth, that it's it's pretty much Earth culture from the past. Do an intelligence check. <laughs> I, I crit fucking 20. You are 100% positive that this is a relay satellite that just somehow landed out here, and it's relaying broadcasts from, like, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, which they think is the word of God, but it's podcasts from, like, the 20th century. <sighs> So, it's not a real god. It's not how podcasts work. I Godcast. Can't. Godcast. Todd, Todd cannot Todd feel cast. joy from alcohol anymore. <laughs> this god is a lie. He, he explains it to the, the McFollians. What? Is that their name? No, no bro. Like, it, it, it crashed and it started talking to us every week. Same time every week. Boom. I just, like, send them all the episodes forever. It's not, it's just a memory bank. Everything is meaningless. <laughs> You've depressed an entire civilization. <laughs> Todd can't feel joy anymore, so you <laughs> shall not. Neither should you. <laughs> and everyone is depressed. Yeah. And sl- like you guys, slunk you guys want over. To fight? I'm a fighting butt, I think. Describe me. What do you see when you see me? <laughs> you're, a, you're a skinny robot with a bunch of eyes and like skinny little arms. You... Draw me. Draw a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> Draw me like one of your French girls. Let's see if any of them have any artistic ability. No, they've been listening to Charles. They don't really have much artistic. Stick ability. figures are fine. I should look like a big V with a bumblebee head no. and some strong arms. You look like a Is that what you see? You look like a stick with stick limbs and like a turnstile head with a bunch of flashlights coming out of it. They have mirrors on that planet, right? He can't see yeah. himself. Oh yeah, he see yeah, you guys corrupted you, his brain so he, that's right. so he, he only reboot, sees his previous Can you body. find my reboot switch? I just want to feel normal. All right, we can try again. Oh, they immediately find it and reboot it. Boop. And you reboot. Well, so would it reset your... I think it would reboot to uh, just an Explorer bot. Uh, let's hire low that. Low. So uh, you come back awake, and you immediately understand that you are an Explorer bot and not Todd. Like, I mean, you your consciousness is still intact, but you can Todd's immediately recognize the, the lie. Your crew lied to you. You were in an explorer bot the entire time. And you remember I, fighting with what was Kev. it? Kevin. Kevin. And Kev. getting the absolute piss beat out of you, and then they stuck your body in an explorer bot because it was all they had on hand. And I remember re- betraying my toddlers. Yes. yes. More and, than anything else. Yeah, that keeps coming up. And you remember that uh, Mac took your phone. <laughs> 
And now Son it becomes bitch. clear that when he showed you that phone and said, nah, this ain't your phone, bro. It was 100% your phone. phone. It all becomes clear. All I'm, of it. Todd's going <laughs> to tune into American Radio AM Wideband. <laughs> okay. And get a job as a trucker. You can uh-huh. either A, try and put out some sort of transponder where somebody might come and get you, or you can convince the McFallen to take Build you to Merck or give you or give you a ship and you can go on your way yeah todd's going straight to america sure because they're the only people that make sense now sure <laughs> their ships look by the way like microphones that's what they look like so great yeah, they give you a ship it's a it's a fairly small one but you only need you so everything's awful <laughs> and you fly off towards america Never to be seen again never to be seen again and as you fly off towards america to who knows what? That's what we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers. His Lord and Majesty, Big Jim, Zukari, He Who is Steve, Big John, The Nut, Chronic E, Jack Skinner, Chris Wisdom, Shanda Panda B, Mel, Lousy Apples, Daniel H, and Sparkle Brony 69. If you want your stupid fucking name right at the end of every episode, <laughs> please support us over at patreon.com slash Podcast. If you have the time, please head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. It helps the show grow. We salute you, Bean. Bean. You are this episode's Bitch Bitch Commander. Commander. Whatever that means. He he donated the most bits. Thank you to uh, (laughs) Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. And as always, as you lose faith in everything that you ever thought was real and try to look to religion to bring your life meaning, and find that it is also bullshit. Just drive off. And maybe scream botch, doesn't matter. We probably won't hear you. See you next week, (laughs) nerds. Botch Podcast is proudly part of the Giant Size Team Up Network. For more shows like ours, head on over to www.giantsizeteamup.com. Fuck yeah, Golden Grams are good cereal. <clears throat> Cowabunga. Eh, Golden Grams are okay. Dude, Pops like, it reminds me of my uh, early teens visiting <clears throat> my cousins. Not get the good. shit out of Golden Grams. Corpse, corpse Pops. Mm. Captain Crunch is my least favorite cereal of all time, probably. Really? I don't like Captain Crunch. Right. What about Fruit taste. Loops? Lucky Love Charms. Foods. Lucky Charms are good. Oh, marshmallows, oh. man. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, I only eat the marshmallows and Lucky Charms. Oh. <laughs> they make a cereal that's that. I yeah, know. I got do. it for a birthday once. It's a Rick and Morty thing. Oh, God. I ate it. I and like, then I no, felt did you feel, yeah, felt, you felt terrible. terrible. Oh, Reese's Puffs. <laughs> yeah, Melnick knows what's up. Never had Reese's Puffs. Mm. But Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Okay. Like Lulu, man. There's a really terrible Fruity cereal Pebbles are the best. called O's. It's very oh, delicious. Oh, yeah, that shit is awful. But it... It rips apart your mouth. <laughs> it tastes good, but it, it, it texturally is terrible. And then later your butthole. Terrible. Honey bunches of oats. <sighs> if it rips your lips, it'll rip Never your butt because it's the same race. skin cell. I just don't eat cereal. Why Jeez. is your I mean, I stomach not processing cereal properly? Grape nuts. Awful. It's too much uh, <laughs> grape Long nuts. Island iced tea in a can. Ugh. Mm. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Never again. <laughs>